n printing is not part of a click queue actually it is a third party component click queue just take over this company n printing company it is just like a distributor your click queue dashboard or click sense dashboard can be generated uh, can be segregated uh, or can, so can be generated in form of a pdf ppt excel or other component and can be distributed across users hundreds of users irrespective of they are having access to qmc or not qmc is a click queue management console or click sense management console where user will be given access to see your dashboard that requires the cost in order to make a cost effective approach they have purchased end printing i'll create my dashboard my dashboard has 10 pages but i want my boss to get only one page of a gist or cream out of my dashboard in one page i can simply take the cream resources of my dashboard and create a pdf report i want that pdf report will be automatically mailed to my boss every morning at 9 o'clock you don't have a time to uh, so, you know logging to click sense management console to see my dashboard every time he just want some summarized data and i cannot make it uh, give it daily basis which is a manual practice which is lot of time taking uh, taking practice so end printing is makes our life easy by automatically automating this process in order to automate this process we have purchased this end printing end printing is a scheduling engine as well as designing engine it has two component one is a scheduler a server another is designer part you have to install the server as well as end printing designer in end printing designer just like crystal report just like jasper soft you can drag and drop the dashboards before that dashboards need to be pre created in the click sense or click queue first dashboards to be created in click queue and click sense then through end printing you will connect to the click queue server or click sense server get the dashboard uh, you know inherited to end printing the objects of the dashboard will be inherited to end printing and then you simply drag and drop the objects create a window which is in form of a report and then distribute that to end user i'll just quickly go through this end printing is the add on module through which you can distribute static reports when i say static it is excel word powerpoint they cannot interact with it but they will get it every month in form of html so why it is lower cost because you want to share this data to hundreds of your employees they will get a mail every morning definitely license cost is safe only one in printing license is sufficient to use to distribute click queue and click sense report to n number of users so let's see the steps at a glance key features key points are faster in deployment multi source multiple source you can connect okay because click queue and click sense will be connected to multiple sources your dashboard will be created in click queue and click sense and you will take click queue and click sense file as a input and create the report and report distribution reporting and integrations with excel ppt pdf format and email you can integrate the email and decide the output is in form of excel so excel report will be automatically distributed web clients it is installed on the server level so end printing will be installed in the server level your uh, developer will be installed in a standalone machine you need to connect to end printing server and develop the one printing reports it supports a support clustering which can run job simultaneously and you know, increase performance so you can have a multiple database uh, uh, you know server i mean primary and secondary concepts also security with role based security you can assign features and uh, data to multiple users so in end printing also you can uh, give uh, multiple designers multiple users access where he can access 
particular to this report and distribute it. So that's a part of the inbending server component. So that's also available in the clean inbending server. Okay, let's see the steps. First of all, you have to connect to inbending report. So inbending report is just like a you know window based crystal report kind of a tool. Okay, you have to first connect to ClickQ or ClickSense server. Very first thing is to get the source. Source is ClickSense report here. Then here you have to create a new report. Just I have connected to ClickQ document over here. Based on this document, I'll just create a new report called Sales Demo Clear All. When I just want to list of the objects, fetch the objects from the ClickQ, it will fetch the objects like this. 34 objects are available in this click your report. Now next what report I will just want to create on this. I want to create a excel report. I will just choose it here. Report name I have to give and then finally here I get the entire uh, click you objects over here so like tables, sales, and images add image okay simple add image these are the type of objects available okay the I mean tools available just drag the image image will show the chart table will show the table box I've added the image now when I see the image source double click on that you will be able to see the type of objects being derived from click these are the objects you have to choose one object, click OK, the object is added. Okay. Same way, multiple images can be added in form of a charts. Like tables also can be added. So I am also, see when I just preview it in, in the Excel output, this image shows me a chart like this. Table, I can also add a object, table object. I'll select a table source, top total products. Okay, this is the table added over here. When I preview it, just click on the preview, you'll be able to see the report like this. Okay, actually, this report is made up of in click queue or click since this also made up of in click queue or click since it is just creating a frame or adding a snapshot on that, and you need to create a recipient when uh, to whom it will be distributed. Go to recipient list. In the recipient, you will search multiple users, email users. How to import recipients? Recipients are selected, and then choose. Uh, uh, or if you want to uh, uh, import a recipient, also you can import multiple Excel files. You can upload. And then in the recipient list, you choose what uh, fields to be there. If it is a uh, imported data, just choose email. All these uh, file name, full name, descriptions, email are added. This is the table added of the receive uh, which contains the list of the recipients. And create a task. You have to create a task which will execute this report every time when it will be executed. It will fetch the latest data from ClickSense. And then another task you have to uh, create to distribute through email. So create a task. So add a task. Add. And this Excel report which I have created, sales demo, student estimate report, blah, blah, blah. These Excel reports to be chosen in this uh, task. In a task, you can also add multiple reports to be emailed to your concern authority. So in this report, what format you want? These are the reports added to the task. HTML report, XML report, PDF report you have chosen for data to be populated. In the email and to whom it will be go or uh, through the mail okay to the uh, list of uh, recipient 
I have chosen these three users to be automatically sent through email. Then I have added and then just test it. Select this particularly and run. When you just click on run, you see that mail is going successfully. Just for testing, you click on that, mail has gone. Now the task is completed, which is now done through manually. Okay. Task is completed and email also sent manually by clicking on this run button. Now once you ensure that email is going perfectly, in that case, you just have to distribute click report by email here. And I've written another task here. From whom it will go? You give the name. This is a report, a description you will give, connection you have to give and uh, from mail, your mail you can give, subject will be, this is dynamic, full name. Full name is, is this is a field from the recipient list you get, like this pipe, which you have given this, uh, you know, percentage sign, is to accommodate dynamic fields, okay, full name is a dynamic field. Please check, say, my name is Amit, I'll be getting a mail from the developer that Amit, Please check attached report. Okay, this will be like this. And I will be getting this mail in this format. Now the mail body will be like this. This is the mail format. Body will be HTML text. Hi Amit. This will be changing. In your case, it will be Sanjeev or Rajiv, whatever it will be. The number of recipients who will get the mail according to their uh, recipient name, they will be changing. And what all components are dynamic, you can just define that inside this. And attach the file. So in the mail, what file you want to attach, just have to select these two uh, reports and OK. Once you click OK, that email task is also created. First task is created that to reload the dashboard. Second task is created to uh, send the email. Okay. Third, I have to create a job. Okay. So job schedule I have to create. So this is a schedule, new uh, schedule I have created. The weekly Monday Monday schedule. Okay. May, midday Monday schedule. So I just have to give the name and description of this job define the time date and time weekly this particular date and then job will be triggered automatically the job to be triggered by this schedule so in the job list you can see this job and click ok and finally every monday your report will be sent to your boss at that particular time so this is what about the imprinting uh, report distribution mechanism is. If you have any questions, please raise.